let's talk about priorities. What's number one on your list of self-care? Is it your hair, your skin, your teeth? I'm going to take a guess that what's way down on that list is your feet. As a former professional netballer, I've put my feet through hell. On the court, having to dodge from side to side, jumping, having to stop really quickly without taking a step, let alone what I had to do at training. It's been downright foot torture. Just running means you are putting three times your body weight onto your feet. So jumping and stopping suddenly increases the stress enormously. I'm dropping in to visit Michelle Moyle, owner of Integrated Podiatry in South Yarra. Did you ever get any ankle injuries? Yep. Yeah. Definitely a yeah. lot of ankle injuries. I was going to say, yeah, netball. <laughs> They're pretty restricted, aren't they? Definitely. <laughs> a podiatrist is a university trained health professional who specialises in treatment of feet. The first thing they usually do is conduct a general examination by studying your gait and flexibility. What do you think? They're not too bad, actually. But <laughs> what's something simple that people can do to check their feet? Yeah, sure. So just looking at them every day. So things you might be looking for are how the nails are growing, um, if there's any thickening or discoloration to the nails, yep. if there's any build-up of hard skin anywhere underneath or in between the toes, uh, the general sort of shape of them as well, if there's any bumps or lumps that you're not sure if of. If your toes are heading in one direction, Correct. it might not be right. that's right. Now, the life of an athlete's foot is pretty tough, but it pales in comparison to what promo model and stiletto devotee Sandra puts her feet through every single day. Sandra, if your feet could speak, what do you think they would say? Um, at times, ouch. <laughs> Please put on a pair of thongs. <laughs> Surely they hurt your feet, though. Um, look, there are times I am a promotional model, and uh, so at a recent car event, I walked 15 kilometres in what? a pair very similar. 15 kilometres. 15 kilometres. I got a Fitbit, so I could tell. What are your thoughts on those? <clears throat> Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't say they're the best shoes going around town. <laughs> You're just putting all the weight through the balls of your feet. So you've got a lot of pressure going through this area of the foot. You've got some shortening of muscles, shortening of tendons, not to mention what's going on further up the body too. Right. And what about ballet dancers? Looks like more foot abuse in the name of entertainment. Megan was a professional ballerina through the late 80s and early 90s. These days, she does ballet to stay fit, sane and balanced. Raw blisters, bleeding blisters, calluses, it was terrible. I even, uh, at one stage, I think perhaps when I was about 14 or 15, you know, resorted to soaking my feet in methylated spirits to toughen them up because wow. really you needed tough feet um, to get through, you know, standard point work class and obviously then performing. Our feet are unsung heroes that work hard and almost never complain so why not think of your podiatrist as someone who you visit every year to keep your feet happy and avoid having a blowout? If your feet could talk, <laughs> what would they say? They would probably say, um, maybe spend a little bit more time looking at me too. Yes, that's a very good answer. <laughs>